So that'll do it. Cub Swanson and Hakeem Dawadu are heading to a decision in a great fight. Great fight. I mean, you look at significant strikes, 87 to 66. Dawadu, total strikes, 119, 104. Dawadu, control time, 310 to 125. Hakeem Dawadu. Now, Swanson did have a takedown here at the end of the fight, but <clears throat> that won't be enough. Now, the one thing you could look at, though, is head strikes, 49 to 49. And that tends to be the difference sometimes, you know, but being that it's equal and Dawadu landed more uh, body shots, leg strikes, you know, he should get this round. He led in every round by at least six significant strikes, but no more than eight. So the rounds were close, but Dawadu should get a unanimous decision, 30 to 27. So we'll have to see uh, how this plays out. Both guys standing in the center of the octagon. You never know with these things, man. You never know. Here we go. It's going to be unanimous. So 29-28. Well, I thought it would be 30 to 27. Oh! Cub Swanson even couldn't believe it. Cub Swanson couldn't believe it. What? What? Cub Swanson congratulated the uh, Dewadu, <laughs> and he still got the win. What is going on here, man? What is going on here? Dewadu led in every category, every, except head strikes. Forty. This is highway robbery, man. Highway robbery. But Cub Swanson in the interview now still can't believe it. He's going to move to 29 and 13. Is he going to retire? So Cub Swanson breaking down now. I don't know. Is this going to be it? We'll hold tight here. Let's see what's going on. So... Daniel Cormier is talking to him. He's not taking off the gloves or anything like that, but he does have his family and kids uh, sitting in the front. He's got three kids. Looks like two boys and a girl. Man, the two boys look exactly the same. <laughs> they look like twins, but they're like three years difference. But nonetheless, I thought he might retire there. He was really emotional, but he's not going to. He's going to move to 29 and 13, featherweight division. UFC Vegas, 78.